In this video, I want to talk a little bit about Crayola basic art supplies. And we're talking about their chalk, their washable watercolors, their crayons, their colored pencils, and their oil pastels. And um, what I've been doing is trying to use as many American products as possible. And um, Crayola are the only products that are made in America that cover all these different things. There are oil paints um, made by some manufacturers in America. There are, of course, other art supplies, but specifically Crayola still makes their products in America. So let's go over them one by one. This is Crayola chalk. And it doesn't say it's a sidewalk chalk, and it doesn't say it's a blackboard chalk. I use it on both. And um, you get 12 sticks, but six colors. And it works wonderfully. They also have their white, um, I want to say antiseptic, which is their old um, formula. Crayola's been making chalk since, like, the 1800s. Um, I have boxes of their white chalk, which I find is the best um, blackboard chalk. But as you can see, their colored chalk is fine as well. Then we have washable watercolors. Now, uh, before I show you the Crayola version, let me show you... Um, I've also been looking into Sumi ink and painting. And this is Noodler's ink and Sumi ink, which is made in Japan and um, historical watercolors that I make myself <clears throat> with um, all kinds of pigments. And it's just a quick sketch. You saw me use uh, the Sumi ink in the demonstration of another video. Well, I looked at it and it was a tree. So it's a tree. So I figured, all right, let's try that in Crayola watercolor. And this was, um, so these are all professional level products from all over the place. Um, this is what I was able to do with Crayola washable watercolor. The black is not black. It comes out brown, which is um, probably because it's washable. The colors blended together. Um, same paper. I could have used it a little bit thicker, but I think that they make this to be washable. So is it the same idea? Yes. Is it the same look? No. So this, this one is an example of how different your art may look if you switch from professional level products to Crayola washable watercolors. I still like it. It's still interesting. Um, it's still got good form. It's still got good color. It's just different looking from the other one. Now, the other one um, is really more of a Sumi based. And when I did the same, you see the black lines? When I did the same black lines to get that kind of a shape, it all blended together and came out brown. So that's the difference in those. Now everybody just about would know about their crayons, which um, I've used their crayons for years, but I also make my own crayons um, out of pigment and beeswax. This is uh, a combination of my crayons and Crayola on oil paint. And you can get beautiful effects with crayon. So I don't have anything at all bad to say about their crayons. Now today I just did um, some colored pencil because I have some metal point drawings that are fading and I needed to fill this one in. Now if you look at this closely, um, Prismacolor or professional level uh, colored pencils blend more easily. This is actually uh, paper on wood but the paper has uh, marble dust and rabbit skin glue on it. So what happens sometimes with your surface is you have to resort to cross hatching, which is lines that go in opposite directions or different directions, um, 
to get a blending instead of a smooth, hard blending. And I think uh, this is going to work fine on all my metal point drawings. Any that I want to do, most of them are straight marble dust without the paper. Um, but, and this isn't finished by any means, but this is a, it's a wonderful way to illustrate. So yes, they get a thumbs up. And then this one is oil pastel. Now their oil pastels work um, like most inexpensive oil pastels, except these do blend well. This is on denim. I threw this in a tub of hot water and um, it's a Christmas, it's someone I know in a Christmas suit, kind of making a joke. But um, after I did it, I took it and I threw it in hot soapy water for about 10 or 15 minutes, moved it around a little bit to see if it was going to shift off the fabric, and it didn't move. So yes, they get a thumbs up on the oil pastel. Now... Is that as good as Sennelier um, on canvas or on um, oil pastel card? It's not the same effect. But can you use these products? Yes. Um, and that's kind of my overall assessment. That if I really had to only use Crayolas, I can do any kind of chalk work, I would work on the watercolor. I would probably use them... Um, and there's the package, $3.88, you can't go wrong. It gives you immediate color. Um, I would use them drier than I did, and I would, in other words, I would use them more thickly, almost like a thick ink instead of a wash like this. The, now, what I may do is take this whole piece and throw it in a tub of water and see if it washes out of paper. I can see that it would wash out of fabric, um, but you can tell the brown, is, even the darkest brown, is not a black. So that, that I would have to work on. The crayons I've never had a problem with. Um, the colored pencils, there's no peach. There are 12 colors, um, which are right here. And to get the flesh, kind of a flesh tone, I actually had to use orange, yellow, and white in layers. These three to get that flesh tone. And like I said, it's not done yet, but, and this, uh, I've only gone in two directions, so this isn't done yet either. But um, will it work? Yes. Is it professional level? With this, I can't tell right now simply because um, of the paper I'm using. If I were doing, um, a regular, say, botanical and um, colored pencil, I'd be using Bristol Board or maybe Windsor & Newton um, hot press watercolor paper, but it works. So when you don't have a flesh tone color, like the, you know, and they do make bigger sets, I think, um, but when you don't have a flesh tone color, you have to layer. And so that's what I did. And to me, when I finish this, it'll be fine. And then, like I said, the oil pastels, you can tell, and this is on fabric, but that's not going to come off of there. Um, it, it might smudge a little, but not much. It's not even smudging. And I haven't sprayed it with anything. Normally, when I do oil pastel on any kind of canvas or board, I use a fixative. And there's no fixative on this at all. And nothing's coming off on my thumb. So Crayola, made in America, gets a thumbs up.